guys, it's Twisted Games here, and I'm coming to you finally with another video. And so today, I've re I'm going to tell you that I have not uploaded in a long time. A long time. And that's distressing to all of my great fans, subscribers, and viewers. And so today, and for the next few days or weeks or however fucking long it takes me to make these videos, I'm going to tell you through story time. Yeah, like the Kill Confirmed one that uh, was so popular amongst you. I'm going to tell you why I have not been uploading, which is my life. So I'm going to tell you about one thing in my life today, and that is track and running. And how I became so great at track and running. Now, I'm not the best. I'm going to tell you right now I'm not the best. You know, not even in my grade. I'm a freshman in high school. You know, there, there's this, like, spider kid with long legs who, like, <laughs> he has an easy easy time. Like, I sprint, like, my stride, and that's, like, a third of his stride. Like, he, he can go super fast, and if, if he had the potential to try, he could actually make it, like, for real. But, never mind that. I'm going to start from the beginning. In sixth grade, I was a very, hmm, what would you call it, not really sports loving. The only sports I had tried back, back then was uh, soccer in second grade. And that did not go over for me so well because I was basically stuck on defense watching fucking butterflies and like not even paying attention to anything. You know, I could now play a good game as of recess soccer, you know, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, I'm still, still not good at it and I never intend to be good at it. Soccer was just never my sport ever, so I, I quit in second grade after doing both the sp fall and the spring season of soccer. So, anyway, then in sixth grade, as some of you may know, I tried baseball in the spring. Holy fucking hell, was that a freaking adventure. God damn. Like, oh, huh. You know, I was a decent outfielder. I could catch like, I don't know, 50% of the balls that came flying towards my way. So whenever I got a catch, I was like, woohoo! But when I was up at bat, man, you know, I could never fucking hit the ball in a game. And nobody understood why. Because in practice, I would always hit the ball during, you know, batting drills and when people were throwing and shit, like during practice, even during scrimmages and shit. Like, boy, I could I could always hit the ball, but when it, when it came game time, I was shit. Like I could not do anything. So I tried a lot of different things, including thinking that I was a fucking lefty, and like going in the wrong batter's box because I thought I could hit better with my left hand. Um, yeah, that was not my issue. It was that I pretty much had stage fright every game. So. The last game, during the last inning when I went up to bat, I hit the ball, right? But I was so astounded that I hit the ball that I didn't even fucking run to first base. And I got immediately out. My entire team was fucking cheering, going whoop, 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 whoop. And, and I was not, like, I did not run, I did not do anything. So I literally got out, like, the fucking second I hit the ball. God fucking damn. So... Come seventh grade, me and my parents were both kind of unhappy with the fact that my athletic confidence was at an all-time low after that terrible season of baseball and after my terrible experience with athletics to begin with. So uh, during the pacer test, um, I would always get like, you know, a level, level four or five, like I never was good at it, right? So when... I looked at the spring sports and my mom was like, oh, you have to do a sport, or fall sports rather. You have to do a sport. I'm like, oh, fuck me, man. I was never built for football and I never will be. Soccer, I had already explained to you guys, I was shit at. And the only thing left was cross country running. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, did I fucking suck at it. Oh my god. But I, I signed up. 
I, I, I was like, okay, fine. I don't even know what this is. I've never really ran recreationally in my freaking life. You know, some of the other people on the team, you know, ran recreationally or, you know, their parents were part of this Rivertown Runners organization or something like that. I had never once ran in my life before seventh grade. And I was always dead last in practice. Even the girls beat me and when, when we were running the aqueduct trails and all that shit, you know, even the girls beat me. And so I was kind of frustrated, right? <clears throat> but then shit got worse. On my first meet at New Rochelle, I got lost. So the course went this way. After you run around the lake and go through the school, right? Then you have to make a U-turn and go onto the track to finish the last, I don't know, whatever, like fucking quarter mile or whatever it was. And so, instead of doing that, because I was so far in last that I couldn't even see anyone ahead of me. I went not around the U-turn, but outside of the fucking fence. So I ran around the entire perimeter of the school. Oh my god. You know, I passed our bus driver, and the bus driver was looking at me and he was like, he didn't say this, but he clearly had an expression on it. It was like, what the living fuck are you doing here, man? Like, saw, dude. Like, come on. What the fuck are you doing? So, then I realized I was lost. And then my time would never, ever, ever be recorded. So that time on that stopwatch, it's like, I, I never finished that race, ever. So that time, technically, is two and a half years. Two and a half fucking years. And counting. And counting. As I talk. It's getting longer and longer that that race has gone on. But anyway, that was that was pretty bad memory. But you know, as the meets got on and on and on, I realized that I could beat some of the weaker people in my grade. I'm not gonna bring up any names, but uh, eventually I did get past one or two people. But then something amazing happened. Because I had ran cross country and thought that I should run something else and continue to run for all my sports and athletic career, I joined spring track. Now, I did better at spring track than I was ever at cross country because I realized I could actually beat people when I sprinted. <clears throat> you know, I, I was in the last heat, but when I was in the, you know, last or last couple of heats, god damn, I was kicking ass. Eventually, I got to like the first three or four heats in seventh grade. I was a fucking superstar, man. You know, I, sure, I wasn't the best sprinter on a team by a long shot. But goddamn was I good. And that made me realize that I could actually do something with this. Do something with running. And so in eighth grade, I joined cross country again, and cross country was never my strong suit. Let's be honest here. I, I could never really beat that many people at cross country so you know it was definitely a tougher tougher thing to do beat people at cross country but I still was you know in the middle of the pack I beat you know about half my grade you know I wasn't like the superstar other eighth graders or you know maybe some seventh graders even beat me but it's like okay you know you just got to keep plugging away at it got to keep running got to keep persevering and so Eventually, I, I joined spring track in eighth grade. That was the time when I really knew that I had a gift for sprinting. Because I was matching it up with some of the best people on the team. You know, I, I was going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I was one of the best on the team. And, you know, it was, it was definitely an experience knowing that you're actually good at something. It's pretty astounding. And so, at the end of eighth grade track, you know, my coach told me, eh, you're getting fast, kid. And you know, that, that really meant something. Because when I first met my modified running coach back in the day, Mr. Benedict, really nice guy, um, he thought I was fucking hopeless. Like, he, he would always look at me and he'd be like, oh, that Connor. You know, he, he never, never thought, never thought that I would ever be good at any type of running whatsoever. So then, over the summer, 
I start running to prep myself for cross country in high school. I was still unprepared. Because races now in high school, they were, what? They, they were like, as opposed to, you know, the one to two mile races in seventh and eighth grade. They had, you know, full-fledged two and a half, three, maybe three and a half, four mile races. And uh, our home course was actually one of the worst courses. Well, not like in terms of quality. It's beautiful over there on our course. But we have a big hill, and you have to go up that big, giant-ass hill twice during the meet. But I knew that I had made it because two times I had been the fastest freshman on the team in two meets. And I started to realize that I had come a long damn way from being this lost fucking idiot in, you know, seventh grade with a hopeless freaking future. Like, you know, I never thought after that meet in New Rochelle that I could ever grow as big as this. But I did. And so uh, eventually my track and cross country career have improved drastically. So basically that's one of the reasons why I'm not uploading because even though track practice is short, it is definitely pretty painful. Like, our schedule, it, it's pretty intense. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, I ran indoor and spring track in this year, because I could actually do it now, all three seasons of sports. And what surprised me was in the sprinting events, I, w I was beating upperclassmen. I was, I wasn't the best freshman on the team. You know, again, there's these... In indoor, I definitely was. In indoor track, I was definitely the best freshman on the team. But in outdoor track, you know, we have this 8th grader taking steroids over here. Fucking idiot. And then we have this, you know, the spider. Uh, you, you know, it's like, okay. I, I can see why they do well. And, you know, there's, there's some people who match up to my speeds. And, you know, we're all pretty much vying for first place here. And, uh, that's how track goes, man. It's an individual sport. Even people among your team fight with each other about who's the best, and that's what I like about track. Because you have a team, but it's about pushing your own limits as a person. It's about seeing how far your heart and legs and arms and body can push, 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 to go fastest in a certain distance. And yeah, some events are really different from others, like cross country, it's nothing like the 200 meter. It, you know, it's like you gotta sprint for one, you gotta run for the other, it's like... But I like that. I like that there's different things you can do within that same field of track. And, you know, I've never wanted to jump ever, but I've just been curious, hey, what if I try jumping or pole vaulting or something like that, and I, and I get good at it, you know? It's a, it's a thing, track is a thing of discovery. You have to discover your own limits, and then you have to push them. You know, it's, it's a very inspiring sport, and that's, that's why I like it. You know, I'm not saying that other sports are shit, because, don't get me wrong, I love watching a good soccer game, or even a baseball game, you know, it's definitely a good, all in good fun, but, you know, there's things that are unique to track that, you just can't get anywhere else. <clears throat> so, um, hope you like this Zetsubu no Shima gameplay. I'm still not good at the map. You know, I'm trying to turn power on. And, uh, I'm miserably failing right now. Well, I don't even know why I still have the fucking starter pistol in this match. Like, I was a complete idiot this gameplay, but it didn't matter. New look, right? New map. Who cares? So, uh, yeah. So that, that about covers my story. Um, please, if you enjoyed this story, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, comment if you remember either me being shitty at soccer or baseball, or, you know, me just, uh, my rise to, I wouldn't say power, but 
my rise to believing in myself in track. You know, I still feel like that was one of the more inspiring moments of my life when I realized I could actually be good at something physical. So, yeah, it was definitely a life-changing experience for me. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the story. Twisted Games is out. See you next video, guys.